YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Right now, I'm just in the studio vibing on tracks, you know what I'm saying? This producer, this particular producer right here is my little brother, Metro. You know, he the next one up. And uh, right now, not even saying the next one he got now, you know what I mean? As far as that producing and just making those records and being hungry and being passionate about it and just ready to take it to a whole nother level and just ready to put 100% work in, you know what I'm saying? Not even thinking about nothing else to come along with the game, but just making hits. He one of those special ones, you know? He ain't thinking about just the first hit or the second hit. Or just, he work on, he want to work with every artist in the game. He want to be able to just spread his whole, you know what I'm saying? Just spread his seeds out and just watch his plants grow. You know, and um, I'm behind on 100%, you feel me? So I love working with him because I, I love his energy. I know he's special, and I know um, it's just so much about him, you know what I'm saying? He enthused, he hungry, he stay hungry. That's the motto, you know what I mean? Free band game motto, no matter what, no matter how much success you get, you got to stay hungry for this because it can be gone at the blink of an eye, and you don't want to just be looking back on what you could have did. So I always just stress to my homies and my friends and the people that I care about and just tell them, Man, just stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to stay focused when that phone get to ringing off the hook. And um, you get those hits, you know what I'm saying? And you and you lose focus of what got you there. And uh, and that's basically it. And a lot of dudes, you can, they, they come in, they're going, you know what I mean? Because they don't understand the formula, what it takes to maintain, to maintain and take it from the streets to a business and turn that sh and turn everything around you into a business you know what i'm saying i just wanted to be focused on the music i was like i can make hits and you know what i'm saying and everything i'm saying you know what i'm saying um it's coming from my heart it's coming from my soul i done been through it so once you done been through it i'm used to it you know what i mean and i'm trying to move past everything i want to better my whole life better everybody's life around me so you lead by uh you lead by example and you let dudes know, man, this is the right way to do it. You want to make a, you want to make a business out of it, or you just want to make some money right quick. You want to make some money right quick, then do it and be a hard head about it. But uh, you want to make this and turn it into a business and really look at yourself as opening up businesses and being an entrepreneur and helping your family eat and helping everybody around you, not just depend on you, but you open up the window for them to get their own money and get their own checks and become their own boss. Because I see myself surrounded by bosses. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be your own boss and everybody around you, they depending on you. So you give them a window and show them how to get money. You know what I'm saying? And the special ones that stay down and they work hard, man, they gonna see, man, hard work gonna pay off. You know what I mean? Patience is a virtue. I'm just speaking to the people who don't even understand what you have to go through to make it. You know what I mean? There's more that goes on behind the scenes just even way you carry yourself. You know what I mean? You got to carry yourself a certain way because there's so many people that's willing, that's ready to knock you down and bring you down just as quick as you get up. You feel me? There's always someone just in the back hoping you fuck up. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, they praying for your downfall and it's crazy, man. There's greed, jealousy out there every single day. And you got to like, man, you can't run from it, but you just got to stay in your own zone. So when it approaches you, you know how to handle it. Yeah. What is the creative vibe like in this London studio for you? Are you catching the vibe right now? Man, it's it's crazy. When I walked in the studio, I just caught a crazy vibe in the studio to feel like I can just make some spectacular music, some more incredible tunes to add on to the catalog. And um, then I found the hist I found out the history. I, I recorded like three, four songs, and I was like, what it is about this studio that I love? Like, why am I keep recording? Like I'm recording back to back. I'm just doing, I'm knocking songs out. Within 30 minutes, I keep recording, recording, recording. I done recorded like probably five to 10 joints in this room already and I haven't been in them for two, three days. And I was like, man, why I keep wanting to record here? It's, it's like I feel at home. And it was, man, it was like, man, uh, Amy Winehouse used to record in the same room you recording in. It's just like, man, the angel, the spirit, the angel of Amy Winehouse just in that booth. I feel like it, and it's just this room is special. And then Adele also, rest in peace to Amy Winehouse. Yes. Adele also, um, she work here, but you know what I mean? So she she worked out of this room. So this room is real special, you know? Cause one, Amy Winehouse, um, she one of my favorite artists. She got a picture on the wall. You see a picture on the wall and I was like, dang, that's Amy. Like, you know, certain stuff that I can Instagram to show the fans, like I be wanting to show the fans, but they want to know what what the meaning behind it. Because if I'm just taking a picture on Instagram and show you at the wall and be like, R.I.P. Amy Winehouse, you don't know the 
the depth of how real it is of the room I'm in. That she, this was the room she was recording in. You don't understand. Before I even walked in this room, I was already listening to her songs. I listened to her songs. I was already a fan of hers. You know what I'm saying? And for her to pass away and then I get a chance to record in the same studio. I didn't ever meet her, but I got a chance to record in the same studio that she graced before. And it's like like destiny, you know what I'm saying? It happened in different ways and people got to understand like that's how it happened. You know what I mean? Everything is a sign. So are you, you just going in with the tracks and you just, you prepared to just be here 24 hours, seven days a week, just, just doing you right now. 24 hours, man. I was in the streets. Like I probably been in the industry five, four or five years. I was in the streets for man, all my life, basically like 20 years, but like all my life I grew up in, it, you know what I'm saying? My, family background my granddaddy was a hustler my grandma was a hustler my uncles was hustlers my aunties were either hustling us on dope you know what i'm saying like just just the average you know what i mean the kid growing up in the neighborhood that's just full of hustlers and grinders and dealers and etc you know what i'm saying everything to come along with the game you feel me so i grew up in that i know what's that i know what it can get you you know what I mean? It was a time where I didn't think like I think right now. You know what I mean? But, hey, it happens. You know what I mean? You live and you learn, but I don't live with no regrets because everything that I went through, it got me here right now. You're known for the studio now. Yeah. You was known for being in the strip clubs. Heavy. Heavy. Taking over. I took over the strip clubs. That's how I got broke. I, I got broke in the strip club. For us, like, broke, like, meaning broke my records. All my ro records was getting broke in the strip clubs. You was making records for the strip club? Yeah, yeah. Now, I wasn't making records for the strip club, but, you know, the strip club is like a club in Atlanta where everybody go party. You know what I'm saying? Someone, some people break their they, they, um, they music and, like, the teen joints because they get to perform. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I didn't want to perform at the time, you know? Uh, so I just go to the strip club, spend money on my song. We just throw thousands in the teen, just throwing money up. When the song come on, we ordering bottles when we was in the streets. We was throwing money. Yo. We was ordering bottles like we was rap stars. So it was just like I had a team. You know what I mean? Everybody believed in me. And we just spending money on the song every night from whatever it is, from Magic City Mondays to next night uh, was Onyx. You know what I mean? The DJ at Onyx, he just passed away. R.I.P. to DJ Nando. You know, and uh, Wednesday, he'd be Platinum 21. Then, you know what I mean? Messing with my dog, Don Juan. That's a good friend of mine, Don Juan. He the DJ. Uh, Shouty Rock might be in there, Junebug there might be in there, like dudes like that at Kamal just helping me break me. And um, on Mondays, you know, take it back to Mondays. Mondays, my DJ on the road with me, that's Esco. So he was breaking it. Nobody wasn't knowing he was my DJ at the time. Nobody knew he was my DJ at the time. And uh, breaking the music and magic, it trickled down effect. Then DJ Funky, he might be in. Uh, Strokers on Wednesday, uh, he might be in Kamal's also. Then Shouty Rock. He over there at Pin Ups, that's my, my close home boy. He a DJ. And um and just Friday, you know what I'm saying? To Saturday, Sunday, and just do it all over again. You know what I mean? Blaze on Sunday. I got DJ Big C and uh and um uh, 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 Reggie Black, you know what I mean? Then I got C Money over on Sundays and <laughs> over there on the south side. That's my dog, like this is my family. And uh man, Friday got awesome, Saturday, Saturday, awesome got um Onyx, you know what I'm saying? So on a Tuesday, um, Fernando, he had Onyx. And on Friday, Fernando had Onyx. But on Saturday, my dog, uh, Awesome, he DJ down on Saturday. And on Thursday, you always go to Hershey. Hershey, he had uh, Blue Flame, you know what I mean? And um, Swamp Izzo, you know, Swamp Izzo, he got a joint cracking on Monday. <laughs> and then you got dudes like uh, T-Rock. He had Crucia, always had Crucia on lock. You know, everyone from Atlanta, man, all these DJs supported me from day one. Dirty Boys to uh, Lil Bankhead, man, he running back a quadrillion times when I go to the radio, breaking my records, dropping bombs. He might play one song for 30 minutes. You know what I mean? Just keep playing it back to back to back while I'm in the building. Like, man, uh, what is being DJ Cash. Like, it's so many DJs, man. DJ Infamous from Dramas to... X-rated, you know what I mean? The free band game, familiar, X-rated. Uh, man, there's so many DJs. The whole coalition DJs has been supporting me, man. It's DJ Funky stayed at it. Stayed at it. And then you just stay in the studio. Just stay in the studio. After I make one song, make another song until I get tired, go home, sleep, come back again, you know? 
do it all over again, you know, unless we got a show, I'm going out to eat with my lady and uh, spend some time with the kids. But besides that, we at the studio working half of the time, even my kids in the studio. They right there with me. A lot of times they don't even see my kids on Instagram or whatever with me, but they right there because I, from the beginning, I never wanted to put my kids in it because I seen how kids, when they grow up in it, how, how it can make you and how they get attacked sometimes by um, like the comments and stuff and they have little Instagrams and they down and you don't want them to be depressed over something that don't even mean nothing to no one. They're just angry people being just lashing out at the wrong time. Everyone get angry, so sometimes when you see certain comments and people just have an opinion on something, you really just, man, they like the lack of knowledge is crazy, you know what I'm saying? When you don't know something, and so you can't be mad at someone who don't know. you like, I can, you can be mad at me because what you think, but I can, it's hard for me to get mad back at you because I know the truth. You know what I'm saying? I know what's going on. Somebody was just on my picture, was like, man, you, don't, you ain't put a picture up of Sierra and... I was like, man, they crazy. Just because I'm put a picture up, man, that's my everything. You know what I mean? She always with me 24 hours. You know, so it don't get confused with Instagram because I'm not a dude that live on Twitter and live on Instagram to show you what I got. I can buy something and never put it on Instagram. We got everything we want. I won't put it on Instagram for sure. It ain't for sure. If I want to show it, I show it. If I'm not, I'm not trying to brag. If you're trying to brag about it, you don't really, you're just trying to do it for the moment, man. We do this for real. I live like this. This is a lifestyle for me. This ain't just a show. You know what I'm saying? I live like this. I don't have to show you the way I live when, when it's me. Sometimes you get moments. I, I share moments of my life with you when I'm in the studio, when I'm doing some radios, uh, and just when I'm at a, when I'm at the, um, video shoots. Tell you about tell tell you when the video coming. Sometimes you might Instagram a, a fresh pair of sneakers if you get them first or something, you know what I mean? And the homie's like, man, you need to Instagram them, the people around me, like, man, put it out there. But besides that, I like to keep it more fresh and I keep it about the music, you know what I mean? Keep it about the vibe. And my personal life is my personal life. If you know me, you know me. If you don't, then, hey, man, you can assume everything you want, you know what I mean? You can come in and... If I got on, my my shit ain't matching, you might don't know why my clothes ain't matching that day. Or if something ain't right that you don't like on me, or I don't know what it is, man. They find all kind of crazy things to complain about, but to each his own, you know what I mean? I don't live my life like that. I got better things to be doing than worrying about somebody else and, and just trying to assume how you is and what it is and what was happening. Like, why you look like that or why was why. Why you make that move? Why you say that? Why was your caption like that? Was you talking to this person? It's a blow on a man. I don't hate no one. I'm at, I'm at a point in my life where I'm not hating no one. I stay in my own lane and just keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? The people who hating at the end of the day, shooting them subliminal messages, man, it's going to catch up with them. You know what I'm saying? Once it catch up with them, man, you already passed them and you far gone. Ain't no looking back. I'm not trying. As soon as you look back, that's when they catch up. Never look back. When you're running from the police, you can never look back. We we learned that as kids. <laughs> look back if you want to. You're going to fall. As soon as you fall, they're going to step on your back. Nah, man, don't never look back. Right when they think you think they on your heels, man, you gone. So, you, so the album's done. The album's done. It's finished. And so you're recording the next album after... This album. Yep, yep. I'm dropping Free Band Gang album. What I'm gonna get like a compilation. Like we just dropped a mixtape. We got a few records for the homies, you know what I'm saying? We got records from uh one of my favorite records on uh Free Band Gang. The mixtape we just dropped me at the No Sleep. Me and my DJ DJ Eskimo City, he dropped the No Sleep. We dropped it like December the what, seventeenth, I think. Um we had just uh, just a bunch of feature artists and I'm gonna do that the same thing I did with No Sleep. I want to get a chance to just give an artist and put the videos behind them and make it a compilation. So I'm gonna drop the compilation next. So it's so many artists that that, that contribute contributed to uh to the No Sleep, and I want them to um, be a part of the Free Bang Game album also. If they can, if not, then I just find new artists or just I work. I have so many songs. I can just put it all my songs and just put features on it or whatever, however it happened. I just love making music. Can somebody want to make music with me, man? I'm on here. I'm not running away from a hit. Crazy. I work with anyone. 
and you take your days off in the studio, you take your holidays in the studio, you have your Christmas, you have your Thanksgiving in the studios. Everything in the studio. Two years straight, I did everything in the studio. Then the last, probably the like the last two years, I've been try, I've been balancing it out. You know, yeah, I've been balancing it out way better than I now, used to. Now your life is about to get a little bit more balanced. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Ready. <laughs> Ready? That's why I'm in the studio now working because I know it's a cutoff time. Now I have a cutoff time. <laughs> yes. And it ain't a deadline to turn the album. It's a deadline so you can stop yes. and focus on being a dad. How long are you going to take out? I have to take out probably like uh, a month and a half. I have to take off a month and a half. Are you worried about the cold turkey? Um, <laughs> not being, That's why I'm working. I'm just have so many songs and put it out during that time and just have videos already. Done, you know what I mean, and get get some time, cause I I do miss my kids. I already have kids, and I miss them like crazy right now. Like I miss my kids like more than anything in the world. But I'm making a sacrifice so I don't have to go through what I went through. Like I never want, I never wish any of my kids go through anything I went through. Even though I'm here and I turned out like this, I like do it a whole nother way. You ain't got to do it my way. Choose the way you want it, cause this way going against our odds. Man, you don't know what it take to get here. Yeah. It take too much. You're going to go through too much to get here. You know what I'm saying? YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.